These are results of an experiment carried out on tree ringing on three separate species. This is a birch tree. The bark has been removed in a complete ring, like a belt. You can see that the area above has swollen up because the sugars and so on coming down from the leaves have been unable to reach the rest of the tree and cause the swelling. The result of the tree ringing is that a large number of dormant buds have started to produce very spindly small side branches. This is a willow tree. Same experiment, same result, although much less in the development of the dormant buds producing small spindly branches. Nice little crop of small fungi here. This was also tried on an alder tree. With much the same result. Complete ring removed. When the ring is removed, the phloem is taken away. The phloem are the vessels that transport the sugars from the tree, from its leaves, down to the rest of the plant. Not just sugars, there are other chemicals as well. And certainly in the spring, when the tree is beginning to grow, normally the direction would be in the opposite direction. There would be flow up towards the leaves to provide them with the energy, with the materials to create the leaves. The phloem has been removed, but the xylem, which is the part that carries the water, has not been overly interfered with. Although it does not appear to have had any more growth whilst this section of uh, bark has been cut. What is surprising is that these trees, despite this being three or four years since this was done, still appear perfectly normal and healthy in the area above the cut, the tree ring.